finally, at long last, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is out in cinemas in the UK. I've just got back from the cinemas and oh, I am ready to give my review on this film because there is stuff to, there is stuff I need to talk about. But yes, without further ado, let's get right into my review of this film. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Paddy Man Entertainment. I am Paddy, and in this video, I am doing my review on Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's finally here, and oof. But yes, like I said, I've just got back from the cinemas watching the film with my brother, and we had a great time. We uh, we both enjoyed the movie very much. But before we get into the film, let me just recap on the first film. On the first film came out in 2020, and it grossed over 300 million dollars at the box office, and the budget for it was 95 million dollars. So it's earned its money back, and it's earned a profit as well. It would have earned a lot more, but then we hit the stage where which. What was it called? The, um, oh yeah, the pandemic. So with that, it affected more sales to happen. And yeah, but it made its profit back. And with the profit it's earned, it, Paramount greenlit the sequel, which is right here right now. And without further ado, let's get into the story of the film. Sonic is now living with Tom and Maddie Wachowski in Green Hills. However, this does not stop this blue Blair from getting into trouble. Sonic is trying to prove himself that he can use his powers to help others, like he did in the first film to save Tom and Maddie from the evil government scientist Dr. Robotnik, aka Eggman, by sending him to another planet full of mushrooms. While stranded on the mushroom planet, Eggman encounters a red creature echidna named Knuckles, who is in search of a mysterious master emerald which beholds ultimate powers which can turn thoughts into reality. And with ultimate power you can very well guess that in the hands of Eggman it's not good news. With that being their goal, Sonic is then dragged into another adventure to stop Eggman and Knuckles with the help of a two-tailed gadget creator Fox named Tails. Now that's my synopsis for the movie without giving any spoilers for the film. Now after watching the first movie back in 2020 I really enjoyed it very much as a Sonic fan. Like the story was basic, like it was like a road trip buddy movie but with a talking blue hedgehog with a crazy government scientist chasing after him for his powers. That's pretty much it, yeah. But the heart of that movie came from both Ben Swartz, who plays the voice of Sonic, and Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, aka Eggman. Ben Swartz as the voice of Sonic has brought that cheeky, energetic feel to the character we all know and love. And Jim Carrey which of course, if you grew up watching his films and know what type of roles he plays, yeah, you can get a good idea what his role is like for Eggman, which, yeah, plays a crazy narcissist scientist guy who wants to be in control of everything. I think the first question I should answer is that, is this movie a huge improvement from the first? My answer is yes. The film has a lot more action than the first film, also along with adding two more CGI characters which heavily focuses on them in this film as well as the wacky crazy funny Eggman played by Jim Carrey but also bringing back familiar characters from the first film Ben Swartz has done another great performance as the Blue Blur he still knows how to play this character at the right speed get it? yeah I'm not good at the one he has definitely kept that same energetic cheekiness as Sonic in the first film Jim Carrey, though, in this movie is more crazier than he is in the first one. And I'm not even joking. He's, like, insanely crazy in this one. Insanely. Wow, that sounds a bit dramatic. Um, <laughs> but he, um, he does bring in loads of laughs in the cinema, though, when I went. He has definitely got that Eggman look now with a bald head and the wicked-looking moustache. After the release of the first film, Jim Carrey has said that Dr. Robotnik is still not fully Eggman yet but he is slowly heading towards into that direction. In an interview, he says that his character is evolving. It's all evolution, is the exact words he used. He is slowly getting there. You know, I've had many, many ideas about where we might go with all that. Yeah. So it's, a, it's an evolution, you know? So does that mean he'll become fat and become the iconic Eggman we know? Big, round, fat, bold guy, constantly wearing goggles 24 seven. The one that we all 
No, and hate. I wouldn't say hate, more like love, but also find funny to watch when playing the games. The casting in this film, again, I thought they'd done a really good job. Same in like the first one where they cast Ben Swartz as so the voices for Sonic and Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. So in this film, for Knuckles and Tails, they chose the right people, is what I'm saying. But let's get into that. They got the original voice of Tails from the video games, Colleen O'Shaughnessy to reprise their role as the two-tailed fox for the big screen. Back when the first film came out in 2020, she lent her voice for the end credits scene revealing Tails, which fans went crazy for. But even though she brought her voice as Tails for a brief moment on the big screen, a lot of people thought that they will replace her and end up getting a big celebrity star to play the role for the sequel. However, that did not happen and they ended up bringing her back for the sequel film, which I was so happy to hear because it just felt right for her to come back as Tails because she is Tails. Like, I can't imagine anyone else playing Tails, but like, there were probably like ideas of who I, I could play Tails, like for example, Tom Holland maybe? No, 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 not Tom Holland. Nah, that would not have worked. Tom Holland as Tails. No, no, no. No, keep, keep, just stick with Spider-Man, Tom. Just keep with Spider-Man. She did a really good job as Tails on the big screen. The director, Jeff Fowler, has said in an interview, hearing her voice come out of our movie version of Tails, I mean, it just felt like such an incredible fit. I felt like the fans felt the same way. There was such an overwhelming enthusiasm and support for that reveal. Colleen knows this character inside out. She's an incredibly talented voice actor, which I totally agree with Jeff Fowler there. However, I did feel though that Sonic and Tails meeting for the first time in this movie was rushed. It would have been nice to have a bit more character building for these two. But maybe they might make some more character building to like the series. For Knuckles though, I did not envision Edge's Elba as the voice for him. Like I, could, I didn't really... The only pe person I was, that had in mind for like Knuckles is probably The Rock. But they didn't go in that direction. And But yeah, like... When they announced that Edris Elba will be playing the role as the strong redhead echidna, I was like, huh, well, never really thought of him, but you know what? I'm actually looking forward to it. And when they showed the first trailer and him as Knuckles, I got goosebumps. Like, oh my God, like the end of that first trailer when he's like, do I look like I need your power? Do I look like I need your power? Goosebumps all everywhere, like, oh. I just thought the, the voice just fits perfectly for Knuckles. I just, yes, I just, just, he, I think it fits perfectly. In the film, he did a good job for Knuckles. He played that character who takes everything serious. Even when there are moments when it's supposed to be funny, Knuckles can't understand a joke, even if it hits him in the face. He is a dim-witted character, but a character with enormous strength and one you should not mess with. I'm really looking forward to seeing Edris Elba playing Knuckles again in the Knuckles TV series, which at the moment we know nothing about. With him having his own series, we'll be able to get more of his backstory, which I think is a great way to show, rather than like showing it in a movie which you have so limited time, but instead breaking it down into multiple episodes so get more cover ground to cover his story. There are segments in the film where it focuses on James Marston's character, Tom Wachowski, which the majority of the location takes place in Hawaii. Tom is attending his sister-in-law's wedding, which later on Tika Sumter's character, Maddie, and her sister, Rachel, played by Natasha Wolfwell, have really had more time to shine in this movie by having their own segment in the film, which I won't spoil. But I can say this, Rothwell has really had much more craziness in her character in this one than the first. This is probably the part of the film where they mainly focus on the human stuff than the CGI. But don't worry, the film shows a lot of Sonic, Tails and Knuckles. Now, there were a few scenes in the film which I thought were very cringy to watch. Like, there's a moment where Jim Carrey is doing the floss dance and... Which I can just tell they purposely put that in for younger viewers. Which makes sense, but still cringy as... You know, cringy as he heck. There's also a dance-off scene which... I wasn't keen on, but it ended up being fun to watch at the very end part. But I won't go into de details of the situation or why there's a dance-off, but 
it was just well that one moment in the film which I thought, what the heck am I watching? But still, yeah, it was a f fun watch, but not my cup of tea. This film was really fun to watch. Like, it definitely contained a lot more action than the first, and also brought in a lot more of Sonic's universe into this. Like, Sonic's friend Tails, Knuckles, the Master Emerald, all stuff that we see in the video games. And there is going to be a lot more. That I can guarantee, because, like, this is going to become a, something big in the future. I just know it. Jeff Fowler, who directed both the first and second film, has really put a lot of smiles to the Sonic fans with his vision of Sonic on the big screen. And now they are already working on the Sonic the Hedgehog movie 3 and Knuckles TV series. By the way, they announced this like ages ago and the film's only just come out today. And Paramount has already greenlit the third movie and a Knuckles TV series, so like yeah, Paramount has such high expectation for this. They're becoming a really big franchise, which I can actually see it happening as well. So, and I'm looking forward to the third movie and the Knuckles series. And, uh, but yeah, plus the merchandising as well is what really is going to make Paramount some money as well. But, because look, look, merchandise. Like the first film, I really, really enjoyed. And, same for this film as well. Like I, I thought it was very good. It was a, it was such a fun film to watch. But it just didn't have that same feeling I had when watching the first film. It was like this film is enjoyable. It is. Like they had, there were like a lot more references from the video games than this one. Like I would be el elbowing my brother, you know, like hitting him, saying, "Oh my god, look at this! That's a reference to the Sonic game and that." <laughs> oh, especially that end credit scene of the. Nearly gave that away. Don't want to do that. <laughs> like I said, there were some scenes which I thought were too far-fetched. But in all honesty, I really enjoyed this movie. And I'm going to see it again with my family and friends. So can't wait to see their experience and their opinions of the film as well. This film is definitely worth the watch for both young and older viewers. I gave the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie a score of 7 out of 10. And for the sequel, it has improved quite a bit. With that, I believe it deserves the score of 8 out of 10. I will be doing a spoiler review video soon, but I'm going to give it a couple of weeks first with the film only just coming out now and a week for the Americans. So give it a few more weeks and then I'll be doing my spoiler review, which will then go into more depth of the film and the big spoilers as well, leading to like maybe future spin-offs and also talking about the Knuckles series of my predictions of what's going to happen. And also, most importantly, the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie as well, which going to be very very interesting and i can't wait also if you've not seen the first sonic the hedgehog movie yet then please check out my review for it which is like right here above which i'll add when editing this video but yeah that is my review on sonic the hedgehog 2 let me know what your thoughts are if you've seen the film but please in the comment section don't reveal any spoilers just like tell me what your thoughts are like if you found the film was good it was bad or it's mediocre but just let me know, but no spoilers for the people who have not seen the film. Thank you. And if you like the video, then please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell as well for any of my future videos, which the next one will come soon. That's my review. So thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.